Thank all meeting order for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Next I have is today's approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve today's agenda. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those carries. Next is approved with the minutes of 12 7, 12 8, 12 9. Lance, I'd make a motion to approve the minutes for December 7th, 8th, and 9th as presented. And I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those carries. Next is approval of claims for payment of 12 23 2020. I make a motion to approve the December 23rd, 2020 claims for payment. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Utility permits. I have none. Secondary roads. Uh, they repaired a bridge this week on TQ Avenue, just north of D65. Driftwood had hit one of the wood piers. So uh, it's been repaired now. It's still at a 22 ton limit, but it's back open to traffic. Anything else for us? Hopefully my guys can have a real weekend with their family. So that's what we hope for. Yeah. So it's another day, right? Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That hope. <laughs> I hope so. <clears throat> uh, next is approval of the county audit report. I to make a motion to approve the county audit report as presented by Bowman Miller. And I will second it. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? And that will be on file in the auditor's office. Any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call. CJ. Aye. Renee. Aye. Aye. Lance. Aye. Most curious. Now I have is county home tile repair and improvement. We had the turkeys go out and do an investigation with a summary. We have an options. Um, he came back with a bid for it of what he thinks needs to be done out there, which is improve the waterway, um, reshaping the waterway and putting two tile lines in there. This is the ground that we rent out at $281, I believe. Yes. Somewhere in there. Current uh new right. fee is the journal. Is the state? I believe so. Okay. And uh, I believe it's our responsibility to take care of it. It's been in bad shape. We've been back and forth on this for at least three years. Yep. Um, we do not have to take it out for bids. We can take it out for bids, so we just need to decide what we want to do. I was just going to correct. It's not a, a bid. It was a quote. Yeah. You're right. So there was no process. So Lance, I'm going to make a motion to the county home tile repair uh, estimate from Gerke in the amount of $6,500, not to exceed that amount without a change order. I'll second it. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? That does not include the seating. Um, hopefully, secondary roads take a higher seater out there. <laughs> Is there any other discussion? Hearing no more, all in favor say aye. Aye. carries. Next, we have the appointment to the Magistrate Appointing Commission. Lance, I make a motion to appoint the following people to the Magistrate Appointing Commission. Marilyn Reinertson, Julie Rowe, and Chris Weeding. I'll second that. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Most no carries. Next, we have the approved open enrollment for Liberty National. Okay. Do we want Natalie to speak? She's here, or do you guys want to just continue? It, it's up to you. I'm, I'm fine either way. Okay. Um, did, yeah. Is there something you want to, you want to, any comments you want to make? Or? Um, I mean, I think that we've had a really good turn on the last year that we've been here. Um, I also think it's great that I've been very consistent. Like I've been here from the very first. I don't know if you guys remember that. It's been a while. Um, but it's been the same person, which I think is huge, especially with employee benefits. Um, because, you know, you have had far too people make claims. Um, and I feel like I've been able to really be there. And it's the same person, which I think is really unique when it comes to 
um, sure. insurance, especially. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you sign up with people and then they just sit and you don't know who to talk to. Um, so I really think it's important that you have a rep that your people can call, um, no matter what day or anything like that. You know, so okay. um, that's kind of the comment I was just going to say. Okay. And this is voluntary. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Um, I'll make a motion to set the dates of um, January 15th through February 28th for the enrollment. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? That's the open enrollment for Liberty National. Correct. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, I have is a change of status in the treasurer's office. Lance, I'd make a motion to approve the change of status of Samantha Cook in the treasurer's office. She is a motor vehicle clerk, uh, effective December 28, 2020. Uh, she was, uh, her last day will be the 28th. I will second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Sounds like she moved to another county. I believe so. Yeah, we should have messed it up. Yeah, I do too. Any other discussion? Hearing no more, all in favor say aye. Aye. Here it is. Next, I have the emergency management update. Thomas. Uh, nothing real big. Um, I think Megan or Rocky are one of those two on. Megan's on. Okay. Whichever one of those. Um, the vaccine, the first vaccine is in. And so if one of those would like to update in that process, that'd be great. Rocky. Good morning. Good morning, hey. Rocky. Okay, so just a vaccine update. We finally got our shipment of Moderna in yesterday. So we're really excited about that. Um, we've actually decided to partner with Medicap Pharmacy in Eldora to distribute the COVID vaccine to our healthcare personnel in Hardin County. Um, just to try to eliminate waste and make sure that we can comply with the storage and handling of the vaccine. So they'll be starting um, that on Monday. They can schedule through their office and have healthcare personnel come to their office in Eldora. And then they're also going to be setting up some clinics in Iowa Falls to capture those folks as well. So I'm um, looking forward to starting to get that vaccine out. And, and this partnership does not cost anything. They stepped up to the plate and offered to take care of this for us. And so the partnership isn't a cost to public health or to the county or to anybody. It's just they're they're doing all of the footwork on it, which is huge. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, um, there was a note. Uh, there was a discussion last week, I think it was here, about um, the, the ratio and um, New Providence mm -hmm. is getting there. They are having discussions with FEMA. Um, the only reason that it was a thought that there was a problem with New Providence is because it was a typical FEMA call. Um, so instead of just, here's what we got, here's what you need, it was about a half hour, 45 minutes. And so there was, there was a misunderstanding and that they weren't good with FEMA and they're, they're fine with them. Okay, so, good. That's good. New Providence Union and Whitten are all on track. Good. Uh, our emergency tower seems to be working. Yes. They I haven't uh, been getting calls, so it, um, they were here last week. I think they came and fixed um, the eye and a few items inside on the controllers. And then uh, they'll be back, I'm guessing it'll be after the first of the year. Um, there is some um, capacitors. There's 15 capacitors in these. It's a 240 volt system. And so there's capacitors in there that change the voltage and all of that. And they're all of those tested for. So they're replacing all of those and then we should be good to go. Good. So it is working. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're back on the other system now. I'm sorry. And have you transferred back to the other system and everything? Or are we still uh, it's all automatic. We have okay. we have transitioned away from me putting it to bed and waking it up <laughs> right. to it doing it itself. <laughs> it, uh, it grew up last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, before I go in, did anybody else have any more comments, questions, comments? 
Before I go into public comments, I'm just going to make this statement. If you're going to ask us to do a countywide mandate, I'm going to cut you off. Uh, I've answered this enough times. So if that's your question, save your breath because I'll cut you off. Now let's go ahead and open public comments. I had a quick question for Thomas or Rocky. Are we still giving all 600 doses or so to uh, 600 people, or is that has that changed to 300 and 300? Um, we're not going to be reserving the second dose back, so it's for 600 people. Okay, that's what I thought from last week or a couple weeks ago. I just wanted to double check that was still the case. Thanks. Okay, I, I, I have a couple of questions on that dosage. Are we, are we giving it first to like all healthcare workers, emergency workers, um, nursing homes? Uh, probably we, CDC has yes. made it so that we're currently in phase 1A, so it goes to healthcare personnel and long-term care facility residents. Okay, so we are, we are doing that then first. Yes, we have to. Okay, so in other words, then there's no reason for people then to call the um, uh, store then in Eldora. Nope, not at this time. Okay, and then um, I had another question, the appointment of the commission for the magistrate, how, how are, What's the process that um, you go through to pick those appointment people? Well, <clears throat> the current commission uh, expired and, or will expire this year. And so we needed to fill three um, citizen members. And so we just, I reached out to several people to find out if they had any interest in it. Um, some, I think, might have, uh, well, yeah. So I reached out to several people and found three that were willing to serve on it. Okay. And then I do, I, Lance, you, you cut out, but I assume it was on um, COVID and I don't know what, what you all said there, but, um, Ask for a countywide mask mandate of the county supervisors, I will just end the conversation and cut you off. Okay, well, I've been cut off by you several times, so, but I'm not going to ask for a mask mandate because um, that's not, I understand your position on that. You already stated that um, a couple of weeks ago when what you said. But um, I, do, I do have um, some concerns, like we have 24 deaths now, and I did not look it up as of today. Um, I'm getting these figures from the Iowa Falls paper. So we still have 289 people that were infected. And, um, and I guess I just feel like that's a lot of people for a county that just has a population of 17,367 people. And uh, I guess I'd just like to say, you know, um, these elderly people would not have died on our, I'm gonna say our watch, if, um, you know, people wouldn't have brought it into the nursing homes because, you know, they have most of the, let's say 99% of them have no chance of getting out. But you guys as leaders, you know, I, I'm old enough to be your, you guys as moms. And, you know, I care about your generation. People look up to your generation. People are looking up to the, you might say 30, 40 and 50 year olds to guide and lead them. The 20, 
you might say 20 to 30 year olds are just kind of hanging loose yet. And I guess I'm just gonna say have not really found their spot, some of them, but you guys, are, okay. But you guys are our leaders. So we're looking for you for guidance in all of this. So um, I guess I'm saying, you know, lead us, lead those people in the right direction and um and you guys have all you guys have all the protection at the county building at the courthouse you guys yeah, make protection sure. for all of yours i'm about ready to cut you off get to the point okay you guys have all your protection why can't we have some protection out there for us that's what i'm asking i'm done again we, we did what we can. This is the boundaries that we have. Are there any other pu public comments? Um, yes, I do have a public comment. I'm Julie Dunn. Um, it's, 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 we're all sick of the um, pandemic. We're all tired of it. And I realize you're tired of hearing people ask you to do something that you're unwilling to do, but um, we sit here week after week and, lot, and most of the time we know what you're gonna say. Um, but you you say it anyway, and generally a lot of things, we just keep our mouth shut um, because there's no use responding um, to it. But um, citizens in this county have a right to voice their opinion week after week, whether you like it or not. We're all tired of worrying about the um, pandemic, getting sick, and seeing people actively flaunt it in stores, um, gas stations, all that other stuff. Um, you know, and um, so anyway, yeah, it's too bad that you guys don't take leadership and just do it, but that's I see where I see what you're saying and why you say it, um, but gee whiz, thanks for the opportunity to speak. Go we'll talk to your city council and mayor. Um, no, no, you guys run the county. Thank you for letting me speak. Like I said, we know what you're going to say in advance, but we speak out anyway because it's all right. Thank you. Are there any other public comments? I just have one. Um, I would just like to, to um, announce that um, with my change of staff, um, that I wanna thank her for her years of service and serving Hardin County and all she's done for me and let everybody know that she's leaving just for relocation. Um, to be back with her family and sad about it also. And so just wanted to, to put that out there. I appreciate what she's done for us and just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that I appreciated her service here. Thank you. Yeah, sorry guys, I had one more question. I see that the swearing in of elected officials is at noon today. Is that when they officially take office or does that happen January 1st or something like that? When do they actually start? January 1st. January 1st. Okay, thank you. Any other public comments? Hearing no more, I go to the other business. I have no other business. And nothing. From there, I can ask for adjournment or recess. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.